Hello group one, welcome in. This is going to be your October um, reading. Basically six important messages Spirit wants to let you know for the entire month of October. So this format is very unique, it's very different. I've never done a format like this before. Um, so it is going to be um, six different aspects of your life here. So the first, the first aspect we have is the overall energy, which is going to be dominant themes of the month. Um, moods, energy, um, and then advice from spirit. Then we have challenges and obstacles like stumbling blocks and then guidance on how, um, how to handle them. Then we have opportunities for growth, which is going to be spiritual, uh, personal development, breakthroughs, things like that in the month of October here. Uh, then we have relationships, uh, personal connections, friendships, romance, family, things like that. Then we have the uh, finances and career, guidance, direction, choices, um, and I'm going to be using my my new career oracles that I finally got. I created these, the career money direction oracles, so we're going to be using these specifically for the career and um, the finances. Lastly, um, it's going to be self-care and well-being and health and stuff like that, emotional, spiritual, physical, and all that stuff. Okay, so... I figured every month has its goods and bads and I kind of find myself when I'm navigating the month needing guidance on different areas and aspects of life so I figured why not encompass them all in one reading. Alrighty, so I'll move these to the sides here. We're going to get started with the first one and let me know if you guys like this format. So we have the overall energy. So this is the overall energy and this is the advice underneath here. So the overall energy is the Five of Cups, okay, um, for you group one. The Five of Cups is usually an energy about things not going according to plan. So I do see in October that things are not going to go the way you expect, and that may plague you. There's something usually plaguing the Five of Cups. So I do feel like there is something that is you're thinking about or you're overanalyzing or you're, it's constantly running around in your head, okay? Um, so there could be some kind of disappointment that highlights the month or there could just be you trying things out and things not going the way you're expecting. I do feel like you guys have high expectations for yourself, which is also why it's leading to some kind of disappointment or some kind of um, regression. So some of you guys may feel like you're moving backwards rather than moving forward. Uh, with the Five of Cups energy in um, October. Maybe that is um, something that you've been struggling with here. Um, the Five of Cups is always an opportunity to see something that we're not expecting to see or there's always some type of lesson in something that goes left. Um, there's always some type of gift in something that doesn't work out for us. Um, and so the theme is also is kind of seeing the unseen miracles or the invisible miracles in a way. Um, there's another, I can't figure out the quote for it here. It's like a blessing in disguise type of energy for October. So something in October doesn't go quite as planned, but it's a blessing in disguise that you don't quite fully see yet. Okay. Um, so that's the overall thing that I'm getting for you guys. Um, you also have to be careful of self-pity uh, when it comes to the Five of Cups. And yeah, I do feel like if you do have any um, hiccups, it will be emotional hiccups. Um, more internal uh, thoughts and in how you think about yourself in your life. Now the advice for the Nine of, of Pentacles. The advice, um, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is usually about being over consumed or over concerned with like material wealth so some of you guys are not feeling good about where you are in life or maybe you're thinking about how you're not at a certain point in life or how your money is maybe not the way you want or how you're not as stable as you um think you should be um and stuff like that this is an inability to relax and unwind um so I do feel like spirit wants you to allow yourself to regain your strength, okay? Allow yourself to rejuvenate. Allow yourself to 
relax. You guys maybe forgot how to relax because you're always grinding and you're always moving on to the next thing, okay? October will actually give you time to do nothing and to just think and to be present. Um, yeah, because I do feel like you guys do a lot, a little bit too much, that it kind of overshadows uh, like uh, things. So some of you guys may do too much to distract yourself from maybe emotional issues that you don't want to deal with. Uh, maybe you, um, you know, bury yourself into work or maybe you just, um, um, what do you call it? You're a workaholic and stuff like that. So I do feel like there could be some emotional issues that do creep up in October because they need to be resolved. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, in terms of the um, personal opportunities for personal growth, you have your dreams need a practical plan, okay? Now, this is basically using the law of attraction, but also having solid practical plans, meaning you have a blue, like you have bullet points um, or a list about how you're going to make your dreams come true. We have dreams coming true here. So October is really asking you to um, not to completely give up because the Five of Cups wants to give up. But Spirit is saying your dreams, it's not that your dreams aren't coming true. It's that you need to be more practical with how to make them come true. You are a co-creator with Spirit, okay? You take action. The ball's in your court. When you do your part, you give the ball to the universe. The universe will do its part. When the universe does its part, we do nothing. We sit, we wait. That's kind of like the hangman energy, how we're in limbo and nothing's happening. It's because the universe is working on whatever it is that it's whatever is supposed to happen for us next. Okay. Um, so with the dreams and a practical plan, I do feel for you guys that spirit wants you to get very realistic. Okay. About how can you achieve these dreams? Whatever you're feeling disappointment in, how can you make this come true? Because it will come true what your dreams coming true. What you're asking for is not impossible. You just have to go about it a different way. Your system may need change and updates, right? Um, your lifestyle may need some changes and updates. There needs to be some um, adjustments made. Okay. And then we have the dreams coming true um, in terms of the overall energy. So October is not like going to be a terrible month. However, you do have um, energetic support with this year. And this is the palm in your hand. October is trying to help you gain back your power, okay? It's trying to help you realize that you do have cosmic energy in the palm of your hand, okay? It's a law of manifestation. Um, it's the law of attraction. You have that in the palm of your hand. These two opportunities, or the opportunity to realize that you have more control than you think, or that you're smarter than you believe you are. You're more capable than you believe yourself to be here, okay? There could be some energy of a dream coming true in October. Definitely, there could be some manifestation that happens in October. However, a man something that happens is not going to be what you expect, okay? That can go good and bad, um, but it just really depends. But the dream spirit doesn't want you to give up on um, achieving your dreams. They want you to be more flexible with how they happen. They want you to be more flexible with your plan of making them come true, okay? Moving on to, we have some obstacles or challenges and how to overcome them. So these are just, you know, difficulties you may find um, in October here. The Page of Swords. I feel you guys have difficulty figuring out what to focus on with the Page of Swords here. What to focus on, what do you want to put your energy into, what do you care about, um, because the, under the Queen of uh, Pentacles is about nurturing. So I feel like there could be, you know, just confusion maybe about um, figuring out what should I nurture? What am I good at nurturing? So this is really about um, your strengths here, okay? Um, so the Page of Swords in terms of obstacle, yeah, like I said, it could even be mental, um, like a lack of clarity, or it could be like, um, make sure you're careful where you're getting your information from. Um, for an obstacle because this could be getting the wrong information and it takes you down 
like the wrong path or it takes you down the path of annoyance or it takes you down the path of inconvenience. And rather than being productive, you're not being very productive. So this is being careful where you're getting, where you're hearing things from. Um, yeah, it's, it's like taking the wrong advice and it leads you down somewhere that you're like, well, this isn't what I was, it's ex I was expecting to do this, but then yeah, you took the wrong advice, so then you went down the wrong path, right? Or you went down a path that wasted your time, wasted your resources. Queen of Pentacles, uh, for the, uh, the advice here is, um, to be very mindful of your spending this month, uh, for obstacle. Um, if you're not careful, this could be you draining your finances, okay? In ways that you didn't expect to, you didn't expect to, and so you have to wait for the next check, or you have to wait for money, um, um, the cash flow to come in again or um, this could even be um, being in debt in some way okay so make sure you're taking care of that energy here um, if you're um, maybe penny pinching or um, things like that um, we have the if, in terms of obstacle for dedicated effort I do feel like again I feel like you guys are having issues of where to place your energy here you have the ability to dedicate effort you have the ability to make things grow um, but for a challenge, I feel like this is just not sure what you should focus on. Um, also your dedicated effort. Some of you may feel that it's not, no matter how much energy and effort you put into something, you're not getting back what you're expecting. You're not getting back your rewards. Um, that could be something too, that you're investing all this energy into something that's not showing you anything. It could be a timing issue with it. Okay. Doesn't mean you have to completely give it up. Um, but you want to be discerning of if this is worth it or not. Because the Page of Swords is like, hmm, should I continue this or not? So you have to, you know, figure out if your effort, if you keep investing in this, is it going to actually lead somewhere? Now we have the Don't Let Pride Get In Your Way card here. And this is really just about stubbornness, okay? A challenge for you guys, maybe your stubbornness can overtake you, okay? Um, this could even be tension between your needs and the needs of other people okay where again you feel like you're you're investing all this energy um into stuff and maybe it's not you're not getting the same thing back and it's pissing you off and it's frustrating you and you're like why should i continue to do this um if it's benefiting other people but not me right um so i do feel like there is like a push-pull energy with this here um this is also a desire to always be right that can be an obstacle a desire um, or um, an inability to admit that you're making a mistake, an inability to accept help when you feel like you know you need help, or an inability to compromise. So those could be some obstacles you face in October here. And the message is, remember to always be flexible, okay? Um, the desire to be right is a waste of time, okay? Be flexible, be humble, and show humility. And that's how you can overcome these challenges here, okay? It's fine if you don't know how to execute something or it's fine if something, you know, doesn't turn out the way you expect or if you make a mistake. Um, don't get in your own way with stubbornness this month, okay? Okay, moving on. We have opportunities for growth. So the main energy is the moon. And right to the king of cups. So with the moon energy, what I get for you, group one, is your opportunity is to sit in the moon energy the moon is an intriguing opportunity it's an opportunity for you to sit in like um uncomfortable unsure uncertain energy but find the answer in the dark if that makes sense i see you guys finding your answers in the dark um rather than the moon coming to light and things coming to light and all that shit no, I see you actually finding answers in the dark, okay? So I do feel that you're going to be sitting in your feelings in October here. You're, 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 um, there's opportunities for growth because your feelings are telling you something here, okay? Um, you're going to be digging deep. Dig really, you're going to be digging really deep for hidden truths. And the reason they're hidden is because you don't see them. But they're truths because they've always been there, okay? So I do feel like you guys are going to be finding a lot of answers within yourself. Within the energy that you sit in here. Um, because everybody, the moon is insecurity, doubt, and fear. Um, and most people don't like to be in that energy. But again, this is the opportunity for growth. So Spirit is saying, well, there's growth 
and the energy that everybody wants to run away from. If you face it head on, and if you dig deeper, and if you allow yourself to show yourself some type of truth that maybe you didn't want to realize, or a truth that made you uncomfortable, or something that, you know, it's something that you don't necessarily want to know, but you know you need to know it, or you know you need to confront it, or you know that you need to handle it. That's the type of vibe. The advice is the uh, King of Cups. So I see immense emotional growth and emotional maturity because you decide to tackle whatever this moon energy is here. The King of Cups is somebody who gains wisdom through his emotional experiences. So you guys are going to have profound emotional experiences in October that's actually going to help you lead, um, that's going to actually help you move forward and it's actually going to help um, take back power with the solar plexus chakra in the reverse. Something has taken away your power and you have an opportunity to get it back. This is all internal. I don't see anything external influencing this. This is all emotional issues, emotional trauma, things that are plaguing you, um, insecurity, fear, all that stuff. You guys are confronting all this shit emotionally here with this King of Cups, okay? And the solar plex chakra is, is, is again, you're, you are going to figure out what's taking away your power, okay? What's taking away your power? Maybe it's you're too self-critical. You're so self-critical, you give, you have super high standards, and then when things don't turn out the way you expect, you criticize yourself, you chastise yourself, you sabotage yourself. So this is, where am I sabotaging myself? Um, October is going to reveal that to you, okay, in the dark. You have the transformation card in the reverse, so um, the opportunity for growth is your energy is stuck, okay? You guys kind of feel this. So... If you're like, I can't seem like I'm moving forward because again, remember in, in the beginning with the with the five of cups, right? You're you're going backwards, not forward. So you guys, your energy is is stuck, and there's um, I feel like you're gonna figure out why in October here. Um, but with this card, is it, it, it's about moving forward intentionally. You have to choose to change so that the blockages will fall. These blockages will fall instantly the minute you decide to um, transform in some way. There could be a resistance to transforming. Again, but there's a resistance because of ego, okay? Your ego is stopping you from growing. So you have to confront that. Um, again, it could be always wanting to be right. Some people want to be right. Some people feel like they lose power, they lose control when life shows them that they were wrong or life shows them that that's not the way. Some people take that offensively, right? And then it stops their growth here. So I do feel like you guys are definitely going to be tackling an ongoing behavior or pattern cycle in your life, okay? It's a cycle. It has been going on and on and on, and it has kept you stuck, and it has it made you un un unable to transform, okay? Um, and so this is an issue plaguing you. Only you know what this issue is, okay? Like I said, it could be overanalyzing, over worrying, inactivity, um, it could be laziness, it could be procrastination, it could be, um, again, self-critical, self-sabotaging, stuff like that, okay? Moving on. Relationships. Okay, relationships, connections. Overarching energy is the um, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Advice is the Ten of Cups. And we have the Share the Love. So, in the relationships, uh, this month isn't huge on relationships because you only have three here. Um, but, you know, they're still important. So, with the Eight of Pentacles here uh, for relationships, I do feel like this is Eight of Pentacles is about not making an effort. So, I do feel like in October, you're going to see certain connections um, get distant um, by people who are not making an effort. It's either you're not making the effort or they're not making the effort. Relationships take energy. They take effort, okay? They take work. They are like a job. Um, so I do feel like there could be feeling a disconnect uh, with certain people in your life here. Um, there are going to be some certain relationships that fall by the wayside or that just don't get the attention or um, love that they used to get because you're just not feeling it anymore. It's about reciprocity. So spirit is wanting you to make sure you're paying attention to what connections are for fulfilling you. What connections fill up that cup with the Ten of Cups, the happiness. What connections bring you happiness? It's as simple as that. 
What connections bring you happiness and what connections make you feel like you're wasting your time or make you feel like you're being taken advantage of? Because with this share the love, I get this is more of a giving energy. So Spirit wants you to analyze what connections are um, giving to you and then what are taking from you. Now, they're not saying to cut anybody off right now, um, but they are saying to distance yourself and stop exerting effort if somebody is not um, holding their weight, I heard. If somebody's not, um, is it holding the weight? If somebody's not um, handling their weight. Yeah, I'm getting the ten of the Ten of Wands energy. If the burden is all on you and somebody is not helping, they're unnecessary. Uh, with the share of the love card here, some of you guys want to connect more to others in relationships, okay? Um, this could even be people you're trying to attract with the Ten of Cups. Share the love. If you want to attract new friends, new community, you have to share something first. You have to give of something first, okay? Um, so say, for example, you are wanting to maybe do some volunteer work. Um, so uh, say, for example, you, you like donate clothes or maybe you donate um, um, school supplies to like a homeless shelter, okay? And now you're involved in an organization and your people are starting to see you more because you're coming around more. Um, this is really you giving yourself to something. It could be an organization. It could be a foundation. Um, I heard puppies for some of you, puppies or animals, an animal shelter. Um, yeah, um, but this is joining some kind of community, okay? You join a community and you share a part of a piece of yourself with this community. And that's how you're going to be able to um, form a bond, okay? It could even be with existing relationships in your life that you share pieces of yourself, okay? And that help strengthen the connection um, with each other, okay? It could be as simple as like maybe you have a project and you know you have a project you're working on and you want a friend to read something or you want a friend to you know give your thoughts about something. That takes trust, okay? That builds connection like, hey, I trust you to give me good advice or I trust you to tell me your thoughts on this. That's the type of vibe in relationships. I see relationships being really good in October I don't see too much strife and I see you only focusing on the relationships that are giving back to you. Okay, moving on, we have number five, which is career and finances. Okay, so we've got the overarching energy is the emperor. Underneath is the advice of the nine of uh, wands reversed. And then we have these career cards here. So the overall arcy energy is the emperor. When it comes to your, your career, the emperor is about initiation. The emperor is about control. You actually have more control over your career than you believe yourself capable of. With the knight of wands reverse, the knight of wands reverse is a feeling of wanting to give up. Um, the knight of wands is an energy of, of things being too tough. Um, it is an energy of persevering as well though. Um, so I do feel in terms of career here, there is very male dominated energy here, um, but it is Aries energy. So I do feel like it's more of a, it's more determination and it's more about willpower in October when it comes to your career here. The Knight of Wands as advice um, is that things get worse before they get better, but you have challenging times in the reversed. So where you are currently in your career, if you're unhappy, I feel like you've already hit the rock bottom which means that there's only up, there's only, you can only go up from here, okay? Um, with the Knight of Wands in reverse, this is also an energy of letting down your guard. Um, so some of you are afraid to maybe put yourself out there, or some of you are afraid to feel intimidated, or some of you, you feel intimidated, intimidated by something in your career, but Spirit wants you to be self-assertive with this energy here, okay? Um, Spirit really wants you to believe in yourself, and that may be difficult. Um, you have the challenging times in the reversed, which means that struggle, strife, um, obstacles, blockages, going two steps forward and eight steps back. In October, I don't see that happening for you. I do see you progressing in your career much more than you think, okay? Um, I also see that uh, with the challenging times in the reverse, there's going to be uh, more ease in your career. Like, uh, things won't be as difficult, okay, as maybe they have been before. 
um, or there could be things that ease up. Maybe, you know, you guys have been in a cycle in your career, so I do feel like there's going to be, um, either you're going to be breaking a cycle or things are just not going to be as tough um, as they used to be, okay? Um, October is giving you an energy of like, giving almost like you guys catch a break from all the struggle uh, in, in your career and stuff like that. Um, some of you guys are exhausted. Uh, maybe you feel like you have to constantly fight in your career and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I do feel like October is going to give you an energy to kind of recharge your strength. Um, yeah. Uh, also be careful not being too critical. Try not to be too self-critical, okay, when it comes to your career and where you are headed. Uh, be more open-minded. So I feel like, yeah, definitely. It's like an internal struggle. You guys are internally struggling career-wise here. Okay, now we have a question Spirit wants to bring up with career. It says, uh, what subjects or topics do I naturally gravitate towards or find myself researching or discussing? If you're naturally drawn to a particular topic or subject, it's a sign that you're that it's the right path for you. So Spirit is asking this question because they want you to they want you to keep this in mind in October. When it comes to your career, and when it comes to moving forward, and when it comes to what should I do, should I continue with this? There's something you're naturally gravitating towards, or that you find yourself researching, discussing, watching videos about, because you have a natural interest in it, okay? And if that's not what you're doing as a career, Spirit is saying that's the right path for you. Now this comes to those of you who really are confused with your career path. If you're not sure what to do, um, what your next move should be, Spirit is saying basically things that are not that things that you're naturally drawn to is what is the right path for you. That's basically what they're saying here. So follow what you're naturally drawn to, not what you think you're supposed to be drawn to, but what you're naturally drawn to here. Okay. For you job seekers. Uh, this is about um, finding work that you're that you're drawn to, not work that you feel you have to do, but work that you feel that you want to do, work that you think you'll be really good at. Um, some, there's a subject or topic you're really good at, something you would sell at. Try to find work in that area here. Okay, so yeah, if you're looking for work or if you're self, um, if you're unemployed, um, gravitate uh, things that you're um, topics, not topics, but like. Um, what do you call it type of jobs that you find yourself wanting to do or you find yourself curious about is the path for you okay especially if you feel like you haven't had any luck we have the investment card here okay it says commitment dedicated and long term your success will depend on your willpower with this Empress energy so career energy is all about the willpower think about your strengths and invest in them so the career message in October is, again, think about your strength, think about things that you're naturally drawn to, and invest into them. Like he's reading, right? He's dedicating time to something. So dedicate yourself to something when it comes to um, your career path. Invest into something. Um, because when you do that, you're getting the gears going. Money flow. When you start to do that, money sort of starts to flow, okay? Um, the hard work, you're putting in the hard work, and you put plans into motion when you start to invest. So this could be research, okay? This could be planning. Um, this could be, um, you know, you did all the research and planning and now you're putting things into action or maybe you're experimenting, okay? But there is flow here. So I do see good flow with your career because like I said, there's not a lot of, um, all the struggle is gone in October. I don't see struggle in October. I see you really um, dedicated um, towards something here. Okay, um, career-wise, this is a time of building, okay? This is a time of the gears flowing. Um, the gears can sometimes feel like slow energy, but regardless, things are still moving, okay? So yeah, just stay committed, um, dedicate yourself to something, and things will move forward for you. Last but not least is your well-being. This is the self-care and guidance messages. Interesting, you have two people cards. So the self-care and guidance message for you guys. Um, in October, 
is we have the overarching energy is the king of wands the king of wands is burnout okay you guys may burn out in october or you may find yourself exhausted you may find yourself very tired you may not feel like you have enthusiasm you may not feel like you have passion it's because you're tired energetically you're tired okay king of wands tired um i feel like you need to take it easy with going gung-ho this is scorpio season okay scorpio season is very introspective scorpios make things happen but scorpios are very intuitive and they know when to act and they know when to step back king of wands reverse is the energy of needing to step back okay the self-care for your spiritual emotional well-being all that stuff you need to step take a step back you need to really sleep some of you guys have had terrible sleep or you have insomnia your energy is wonky because there is a lack of rest okay um, some, yeah, like in the beginning, again, something has been plaguing you, so you're just on, on go all the time. You need to learn how to turn yourself off. Uh, advice is the Queen of Cups reverse. This is emotional issues here. So Spirit's saying, really focus on your emotional issues, okay? Focus on emotional issues, for, focus on healing them, nurturing them, confronting them. Um, um, yeah, emotionally you're exhausted, and physically you're exhausted. Like, you guys just need a freaking break, okay? So take a break in October. We have the flow and the reversed. This is about forcing things to happen. Everything has its own timing. Every single thing has its own timing. So this is about not forcing the flow, but just going with the flow. Sometimes the flow isn't always fluid. Sometimes the flow, it stops. Sometimes the flow is very like um, inconsistent. But this is about you trusting and knowing that you're gonna be okay, okay? Um, um, don't go against the flow. Don't don't go against the current. Okay, if your body's telling you to rest and you're trying to, but I need to finish this. But I need to work harder. But I need to go out real quick. But I need to run errands. And your body is saying, I want to fucking sleep. Let your body sleep because once you go against the flow, you'll feel even worse. Okay, things will get worse uh, emotionally, mentally. Um, you'll just be completely drained. Okay. Um, we have this whole division here. Now, this card's interesting for self-care because this is a very stubborn energy, and the King of Wands reverse is very stubborn. He gets frustrated because things don't go his way. So self-care for you is to take your hands off of the rings, okay? Hey, off the reins. Take your hand off of the leash, okay? The whole division is, is, is it's fixed. So fixed signs are very stubborn. I'm an Aquarius. I'm a fixed sign, so I know. Um, this is about being very stringent. So your self-care message is to be flexible, to allow yourself to flow, to give yourself a fucking break, okay? To take your time and not to force things to happen. Sometimes you being too focused will make energy stop. You being too dedicated, you trying to make something happen too much is actually going to stop it from happening, right? So you need to practice detachment have a balance in october here okay so that was your guys's reading thank you so much for watching i hope you like this format i like this format it's pretty in depth um i wish you the very best in october okay um until next time hello group two hello welcome in this is going to be your october reading these are six important messages spirit wants you to know about october so i i check i section them off in different categories because i realize each month has um each month has its own lessons and uh there's more there's a category that's more dominant sometimes in one month and another month okay so the overarching categories are overall energy which is dominant themes and moods of the month this is going to be challenges obstacles stumbling blocks and guidance on how to get through them opportunities for growth such as personal spiritual development or like breakthroughs this is going to be for relationships personal connection friendships family romantic etc and advice with those we have career and finance messages for guidance with direction choices uh, professional growth etc and then lastly we have the self-care well-being emotional uh, emotional, mental, physical, all that stuff, okay? So these are the different type of categories. Some cards have more than others based on what spirit wanted to talk about, okay? So we're going to be moving on with the first one, which is the overarching energy here of um, October.
October for you guys. So you had the Ten of uh, Ten of Swords in reverse and the advice underneath is the star. Okay, so the first thing for you, group two, is October is going to be about healing. The Ten of Swords in the reverse is about um, healing scars from your past, okay? I do see that there is still resentment or anger or there is still sadness from maybe something that happened to you this year that you still kind of hold on to. Uh, maybe some of you were betrayed by somebody or something just really, you know, caught you off guard. Um, and it's really affected your life since. I do see recovering from that. So October is an energy of recovery, okay? Um, those steal, uh, feelings of negative energy is still present. I do see you guys healing, okay? You will recover with more strength. I also feel like you will recover your faith. Some of you have completely lost faith. Um, and I do feel with the star in the reverse, this is a sense of um, that face being restored with this these two connected this face is going to be restored now it is going to take time october is really going to be it's not that you will have your faith completely restored in october it's that you're taking the steps to renew your faith life will show you that you can believe in it again the universe will show you that you can believe in it again you can trust it again some of you feel like you like some your trust was broken you know, it's just, it's almost like, yeah, you were like completely backstabbed um, in the sense, like life backstabbed you and it, you just, you just lost all hope. I do feel like you'll be regaining that back. Okay. Um, I also feel like um, you're going to figure out what is sabotaging you or how you're sabotaging yourself because the Ten of Swords could also be self-sabotage um, because I feel like some of you have done something or you created a cycle or a pattern or a self-fulfilling prophecy that has caused you to lose faith and it keeps recurring over and over and over again okay so this is scorpio season so we're digging deep okay we're getting deep in there i see you guys figuring out what exactly is causing you to feel a cycle of anger sadness anguish it's just you keep going on this over and over and over you're going to figure out what this is we have powerful change expect a powerful change so what you could expect is i, I don't know if there's an eclipse this month uh i think there is and that can have to do with this energy here so if there is an eclipse you may want to watch some readings about those um and what to expect um but yeah expect powerful change so there's a huge shift coming uh, for you guys um, in October here and I do feel like that shift is actually going to be extremely helpful because like I said it's going to help you reco recover restore and renew like the three R's restore recover and renew um, so there are going to be some huge shifts okay if things fall away if things end um, if things are suddenly abrupt don't be surprised the eclipse usually eclipse things out of our lives when we don't need them anymore so feelings of anguish and an emotional hurt can start to diminish you can start feeling yourself feel lighter or feeling better or feeling less stressed or depressed okay you have the daydreams and the decisions in the reverse here um, so normally this card is about the separation between your daydreams and the decisions but also how you can integrate those um, i see you guys are no longer daydreaming anymore I feel like I said something dashed your hope so it's you don't even wish anymore um, but I do feel like there are going to be decisions you're going to have to make in October and you're going to base them upon is there growth in this area um, with the set with the ten of swords in the reverse here this is an energy of making sure that you can trust something right so putting your trust into something is not going to be an easy task um, it is going to be something that you're going to intuitively feel can I trust this? Um, do I feel like this is good for me? Or do I feel like this is really bad for me? I see you guys really feeling things out in October here. Um, with the daydreams and illusion in the reverse, this is more about um, being realistic, being practical. You're not all up in your head and there's not a lot of what ifs. It's more about like you guys gotten a reality check. So I feel like you're living more in the 3D realm than you are in your imagination and stuff like that. Moving on, we have the um, challenges, okay? So challenges, the Knight of Swords, underneath 
her advice is the uh, justice and then we have this deserving card so her challenge or things you may have trouble with in october here um is the knight of swords and so the knight of swords is very quick energy but for overarching energy the knight of swords is very rash and he's very impulsive okay um he doesn't think clearly so an obstacle for you guys is allowing your emotions to overtake you where you end up making decisions because you're not thinking clearly okay because you're emotional um, because you're triggered um, or something happened uh, so this is needing to make sure that your feelings are not overtaking you the justice as advice is saying you need to be assertive in facing things okay and fixing things um, it may be difficult though, but that's why it's an obstacle. Justice is about making situations right. The Knight of Swords is about confronting issues, okay? So Spirit is saying if you want fairness, if you want to fix things, um, if you want to overcome these obstacles, you have to communicate honestly and you have to learn from your past mistakes with the Knight of Swords, okay? Um, you have to make sure you're not rushing into things. You have to make sure that you are keeping yourself in balance. Because when you have this energy with the, the star energy, sometimes it could be devastation. And you, again, if you're devastated, you're emotional. You're negative. You're pessimistic. You don't see a way out type of vibe, right? So you have to be careful not to um, let your feelings control you. Because if they do, then things will be disastrous, okay? Or things will not get fixed. Things will be broken. Or you'll break more things, literally, okay? So you have to be careful of that. Um, for advice with justice is also about having a balance between logic and feelings um, and thinking clearly okay so think before you act in October all right now we have uh, the consciousness as an obstacle here and the consciousness is what you're bringing forth uh, and what you're telling the universe um, that you know what you're telling the universe uh, what you are and what you're focusing on now this is an obstacle because this energy could be you guys are questioning what uh, you're questioning worth and you're questioning um, what you deserve. Okay, you're thinking, well, maybe I don't deserve it. So some of you guys, something has taken a long time to come to fruition. Something is taking a long time to come in that you've lost faith that it's not going to happen. And so you're starting to question, well, maybe it's never going to happen for me. Maybe I don't really deserve it. You know, um, so worthiness may be a struggle for you guys. I do feel like self-limitation is also a struggle. So it's hard for you to get out of your own way. Knight of Swords is very imposing energy. It's very combative. So I do feel like um, you guys probably will be struggling with um, obviously your worthiness, but also your self-esteem this month. And it's gonna be a struggle to try to get yourself out of that energy, okay? But Spirit is saying you need to learn how to reaffirm yourself. Some of you guys need to learn how to reteach yourself um, the stuff that you're not deserving, you're thinking of in the past when you were rejected or when somebody ignored you or when someone um, surpassed you or an opportunity surpassed you or an opportunity you didn't get. This is stuff that you're kind of mulling over. And Spirit is saying, if you think about these things too much with this energy of consciousness, you're going to start attracting situations, experiences where you're going to keep feeling like you're rejected. You're going to keep feeling like you're overlooked or you're invisible or nobody cares. So be very conscious of your thoughts because they will manifest in October very rapidly here with the Knight of Swords. Okay, so try to work on your self-esteem. Try to reaffirm, okay? Um, reaffirm to yourself that um, you can overcome your burdens. You can overcome your struggles. Um, myself, currently, I am dealing with uh, my... I am um, dealing with a... Uh, um, a struggling with my self-confidence. I've always struggled with self-confidence since I was little. Like, since I was like like fucking five, six years old. I've always had self-confidence issues in some aspect of my life. So that is like a lifelong struggle for me that I still, you know, struggle with. And some months they're better, some months they're not. Um, but it is a work in progress. So I do see you guys tackling your self-esteem, confidence issues, um, and trying to figure a way out um, with this justice energy. Think clear-headed. Um, try not to be too in your head. 
No, try not to be too in your feelings. Be more in your head. Try not to be too into your feelings. Because your feelings will keep you stuck this month. Okay. Thirdly, we have the opportunities for growth. We have the King of Swords. Advises the Two of Swords. Okay. So, um... Your opportunity for growth, you have the King of Swords. So the opportunity for growth of the King of Swords is really about clarity. The King of Swords keeps his head on straight. He makes sure that he uses logic and his intellect to move forward here. So your opportunity from growth, if you're if you if it feel like your emotions are against you, then you do the opposite of that, right? Your way forward is not necessarily intuition, it's more intellect. It's more logic. It's more methodical, okay? It's more practical. It's planning. It's reasoning. It's all that, all that scientific shit, basically, okay? Um, this is also a sense of opportunities for growth. Is October is going to give you a chance to put your knowledge into action. You've learned a lot with the King of Swords. You have a lot of knowledge about something with the King of Swords. You've acqu you've acquired a lot of knowledge. Now it's time to put those. Put that into action okay now it's time to put your plans into motion it's time to start putting things um yeah putting things into action all the stuff you learned show what you've learned the universe wants to see what you've learned you learn how to do this and how to adjust this and how to fix this and how not to do this and how to transform this will show us show us i want to see so you may have experiences in october that you have to put they're saying put the pedal to the metal. Yeah, you may have to showcase yourself. You may have to show your ability. You may have to show what you know um, in October. That's an opportunity for growth, 100%. Okay? You have the Two of, of Pentacles, um, no, Two of Swords uh, as advice. And basically, this is simply not getting in your way, not getting in your head. The Two of Swords reverse is a sense of. Um, the two, if the two of swords is something that's like, I'm confused, I don't know which way to go, this is the opposite of that. So this is just being very assertive, and this is being very, uh, what's the word, decisive, okay? Be decisive. Choose to, you know, if you want to go a new path, if, you, if you're if you putting knowledge, I mean, if you're putting action into something, just fucking start it, man, with the new beginning. It's time to start something new. It's not time to move backwards. And regardless if you're moving forward and it still seems scary or if you don't know what the fuck you're doing or if you are having, you know, negative thoughts about it, continue to st still move forward uh, with the King of Swords. The King of Swords is like a general, okay? Picture like a military leader. Military leaders still charge forward even when things seem like shit has hit the fan okay they don't they don't retract and be like oh shit i'm scared of that and they turn away they don't do that they confront it they combat it they face it okay so the king of swords is saying to have courage okay opportunity for growth if you will have some courage there's going to be a situation where you're going to need courage to continue a new beginning or there could be a completely new cycle that starts in your life that is giving you an opportunity to grow or to break through or experience a breakthrough, okay? Don't be hesitant about it. Be very decisive about it. Relationships. Overarching energy, three of sword and underneath, queen of cups. Okay. When it comes to relationships, unfortunately, I do feel like there is going to be some disappointment, okay? So, the overarching energy is that people will disappoint you in um, October. You cannot rely on people in October. Uh, the Three of Swords is heartbreak. So, when we're heartbroken when it comes to relationships, it's because things did not go the way we expected. Somebody broke our trust. Uh, somebody betrayed us. Um, we don't feel valued. Our needs aren't being met, right? So, my best advice with this is try not to put too much expectation on relationships in October, okay? If you have plans with people, there could be people who cancel or who don't show up or who ghost or they delay or things like that, okay? So relationships may not turn out the best in October. There could just be, you know, people's timelines are not matching up, people are forgetting things, uh, there could be miscommunication, uh, that leads to, you know, fights or arguments or stuff like that, okay? Um, 
Queen of Cups in reverse for your advice from spirit is to make sure that you are per prioritizing your own needs, okay? You're prioritizing your own needs and um, you're avoiding allowing others to take advantage of you. The Queen of Cups is a sweetheart, okay? People take advantage of her emotionally. They take from her. Um, so some of you guys are depleted because you're... Uh, certain relationships in your life are taking from you rather than giving to you, okay? Um, so I do feel like there is a need to, um, with the Queen of Cups reverse too, some of you guys have uh, emotional issues or unresolved issues with people in your life, um, and that can come up in October, okay? Um, but the Queen of Cups is also guarded, okay? She's very guarded, and she's very private. So Spirit is saying, only tell what's necessary and for some of you guys don't tell anything at all there are some people in your life who just simply don't deserve your time energy or love okay they don't deserve the attention they don't deserve the effects they only deserve none of that shit and it's okay to say no and not feel guilty about that so so you're going to be saying no to personal connections in your life and that's completely fine no you don't deserve it you disappointed me no 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 okay don't be afraid to say no we have the flow and the reverse. So this is about resisting. Um, yeah, you can't really control how things happen when it comes to relationships. So to save yourself heartbreak, like I said, stop having such high expectations for others in your life. That will save yourself heartbreak in October. Okay? So best advice to give you here. Keep your expectations low in October. Now we're moving on to finances and career. Overarching energy. Okay, Seven of Cups and reversed here. Now, when it comes to uh, a career, overarching energy, uh, movement forward, Seven of Cups and reverse is about clarity. This is confusion, illusion, it's also many possibilities. This is making a choice. So, I do feel like Either some of you guys have made a choice and you need to stick with your choice or some of you guys are going to come into clarity about what it is you want to do in your career. How do you want to move forward in your career um, with the Seven of Cups here? Um, I also feel like um, I heard the chosen one or something has been chosen. Um, to some of you guys, if you've been struggling in your career, I do see that there's going to be more momentum okay there's more momentum um because i feel like things were scattered and uncertain now things are becoming a little bit more certain uh maybe a schedule is getting set things are becoming more concrete okay there's more concrete um ideas when it comes to career goals so you're not as confused anymore you have ideas you have a way forward um you know what you want advice with the two of pentacles is that you can work on two things at once you don't have to put all your eggs in one basket and spirit would actually want you not to put all your eggs in one basket focus on two things at a time you can juggle these effectively okay career wise money wise money is coming in money's coming out so there is a good balance between uh, exchanging of money the giving and take of money okay so i do see that for you if things have been very stuck i do see the flow coming in okay now we have interview okay it says phone call email and interests um, interviews are around the corner so be ready to show off your skills um, also the, if you guys don't know this is my new career uh, my new career uh, deck the career money direction here okay uh, so interviews phone call yeah so interviews are sh uh, around the corner be ready to show off your skill if you guys are job seekers and you haven't had any um, there hasn't been any luck I do see a breakthrough for you in regards to finding work. I do see interest at least, phone calls, people texting, email you, um, asking for interviews. So that's a good thing. Now, whether you get the interview or not is not really the point. The point is that there's momentum finally when there wasn't momentum or maybe you were struggling to find something, okay? Um, now, for those of you who already have a job, I do see more interest coming to the work that you do. So it could be more responsibility, it could be more clientele, it could just be more email or um, people contacting you for some reason, okay? Um, this is people showing an interest in you, though. Um, 
we have the tower earning power building a business and sound decision here so i do see momentum when it comes to building your career or moving forward when it comes to your foundation um, you guys are focusing on um, you're um, establishing a foundation for some of you guys are establishing something completely new and this is about building those building blocks slowly right it's a bit unstable but once you start to build it it becomes more stable so there is instability that becomes stability or there is moving like where are you headed you're headed towards um, stability you're headed towards sound you're headed towards more security here uh, but that you know that takes time um, but your earning power is something with your career that I feel like you're moving in a good direction with the two uh, pentacles because your earning power is going to start increasing. Earning power is just about what people are, believe you're worth, okay? Um, with interviews, you can even have the ability to negotiate. You can even have an interview where it's a higher paying job, okay? Your earning power is increasing here. There's potential for an earning power. For those of you who work, you have the ability to do a side hustle that earns you money as well. So you have two incomes coming in rather than just one here. So you already have a clear idea of what that is. If not, you will get a clear idea of what that is here. But I do see your earning power gaining momentum. So that's a good thing. Moving on, last but not least, we have the self-care. Um, and yeah, self-care, well-being, overarching energy advice. I think I'm going to get maybe one more card here for self-care. Self-care, well-being for your two. We have this that wants to come out. Okay. So self-care, you have the five of cups and the temperance. So five of cups for self-care. Five of cups is a sad card, okay? Um, so I do feel like the self-care is more about... Focusing on your emotional health, okay? Uh, there could be some emotional issues in October and Spirit is wanting you to really um, focus on your emotional well-being, okay? The Five of Cups is a tendency to lean into the past, to be very codependent on the past, to be clingy towards the past, and you're only focusing on the past. You're not in the present moment. So be mindful of staying in the present moment because if you do not, you will throw yourself out of balance with the temperance in the reverse here as the advice. So it's important that whatever has happened in the past, I still see you guys healing from it. I still, it's something that was really difficult for you. And it's okay to allow yourself to heal, okay? It's okay to even wallow in those feelings, just don't wallow too much. With the two cups here, if you are going to wallow, also re and also consider what you learned from the experience because anytime we have something that's very devastating or sad there's also there's always um a silver lining there's always a message there's always a lesson there's always some kind of miracle that happened from it whether we think so or not so this is about stop focusing on that but, yeah that was terrible but what else what else did you learn from it but what did it do for your life you know, um, seeing seeing um, seeing the cup half full rather than fully empty. Okay, um, temperance is the advice. Is like I said, is is being mindful of not letting out external things influence you to a point that you start to dwell. So this is simply social media. This is like you indulging in social media too much and you're scrolling, you're scrolling, you're seeing everybody else in their life and you're like, man, my life sucks. How come I can't do that? How come they're traveling here? They're eating better food than I. I'm stuck at my job doing this and look at them. That's the type of vibe and that's that trap it'll keep you in, okay? And temper, it just, it throws you off balance because now you're focused on what everybody else is doing, okay? Um, that is not self-care. That is self-sabotage. Just be careful of that. We have nothing will come in this situation. So a self-care message for, for this, for you guys, is if there's something that seems like it's a lost cause, leave it alone. Nothing is going to come from it. Nothing is going to come from you putting energy into it. Nothing is going to come from you changing your view about it. Nothing's going to come from you changing strategies. Or um, maybe you need to reconsider. Maybe you need to just talk to them. Or maybe you just need... No. 
there's a situation that is a lost fucking cause. You're beating a dead horse and you need to move on. Okay? And then lastly, we have the rest and reconsider. Rest and reconsider in the reverse here. This card is usually about taking time to reconsider, but it's in the reverse, which means you don't need to consider it. You don't need to rest on it. You don't need to introspect on it. You don't need to think about it. It's like spirit wants you to not think about it at all. So there is something that you're dwelling too much on that your guides are like, stop dwelling on this, move the fuck on. It is what it is. Nothing's gonna come from it. Let's move on, okay? So that was your reading. I really hope it gave you clarity. It helped you out in some way. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like this format. I wish you the best in October. Till next time. Hello, group three. This is going to be your October monthly reading. Um, so this is going to be the six important messages Spirit wants you to know for October. So how I did is I divided them up into categories because I realized each month makes you focus on another category or another category is more important than other categories so the categories are um see my paper we have overall energy which is going to be dominant themes of the month or kind of the mood of the month we have the challenges and obstacles stumbling blocks and guidance on how to overcome them we have opportunities for growth personal spiritual development um, and things like breakthroughs we have relationships personal connection friendships family romantic etc we have career and finances with uh, guidance, with direction, choices, professional growth. And then we have the self-care, uh, well-being, emotional, spiritual, mental, and physical. Okay? Um, so, we're going to start with the first one. Here. So, the overarching theme of uh, October for you guys. This is overarching theme. This is the advice. And then we have these cards as well. Overarching theme is the tower in the reverse tier, okay? Now, this is actually quite brilliant energy. I feel like it's really good energy for you guys. So, October is all about rebuilding, restructuring, okay? But I'll go more in depth on what exactly that is here. So, for you guys with the tower in the reverse tier, you, I feel October is breaking down your reliance on something that is false, okay? It's breaking down your codependency on something here. That's why the tower is here. Now, I do feel like this is energy of it's going to be breaking down as October, you know, continues. It's not something that it's just one event and it happens. It's the entirety of October, okay? So October is going to be breaking down your reliance on something. And by something false, it's, it's something that you have relied on to be there for you. Whatever it is that you rely on to be there for you may not be there in October anymore, okay? Um, so it's an over-reliance on something that the universe has seen, and the universe is like, you're not growing from this. We have to get rid of this. We have to change this. We This, this is not something that you should be depending on, okay? Um, so for example, it could be beliefs rooted in misinformation. It could be misconceptions you have about something. It could be flawed thinking about something. I do feel like it's something that you guys have maybe, it's a belief or some core rooted deep something that you've lived your life on. And for some reason now, it's just not going to work anymore. Um, there is a misconception about something. There's misinformation about something. The tower reverse is like, I believed in it so much, right, that I caused it to collapse. So I feel like there is a restructuring of your beliefs, a restructuring of what, um, of kind of like information that you're getting, of, of how you're cultivating things in your life. There's a reassessing of situations, a reassessing of life, a reassessing of everything. You're reassessing everything in October. Um, and I think it's brilliant because whatever you're going to end up rebuilding, it's going to be much stronger, but more rooted in faith, more rooted in something that is that resonates with you, more rooted in authenticity of yourself rather than taking on beliefs of other people or taking on lifestyles of other people because so-and-so has done this or because my mom, you know, believes in this, so I do, or because, you know, my faith or whatever. That's the vibe that I get. Now, what advice is the um, Knight of Swords. 
and the Knight of Swords as advice is to not be afraid to combat these, okay? Don't be afraid to confront these this breakdown. Don't be afraid to have things break down, okay? Don't be afraid for things to um, not turn out the way you expected. There's a beauty in the unexpected with the Knight of Swords, and I do feel like um, you're going to have assistance with understanding why things are happening. So I don't see a lot of confusion for you. I see things happening and then you're going to realize why they happen. There's a lot of clarity here, okay, with the Knight of Swords. There's a lot of truth. Um, again, some of you guys are really misinformed about something. You have heavy misconceptions about certain things. Some of you guys have flawed thinking in something and Spirit is going to help you see the truth and why you need to rebuild that. Some of you guys may feel like something is a lost cause, but it's not. It's your way of thinking and it's your perspective that was making it a lost cause. The minute you switch, change your perspective, or the minute you have better thoughts, or the minute you maybe think about something differently, everything changes. Every it, momentum happens. There could even be uh, maybe energy that was stopped because of the momentum you know, the, the momentum stopped because you hit a dead end. Something like that. It'll manifest differently for everybody. But yeah, so we have the rebuilding, okay? So, um, to me, yeah, you, yeah, this is like the tower energy here. Restoring the unit, yeah. So whatever is lost, the universe is going to restore it with something better. Whatever is re replaced, it's going to be replaced with something stronger, more reliable, more concrete, less confusing. Okay, um, yeah, so I just see really good energy with that. And then again, we have step out of your comfort zone. The tower in reverse sometimes is uncomfortable energy, but in order for you to grow, in order for you to expand and evolve, you have to learn how to be uncomfortable with the uncomfortable. You have to learn how to get out of your own way. You have to learn how to let life happen, right? You have to learn how to um, move through the unfamiliar, move through the uncertainty, right? And that's only how you can rebuild. Because once you rebuild, you gain knowledge with this Knight of Swords about what didn't work, why did it not work. You gain knowledge. And then when you rebuild, you're rebuilding with that knowledge. And so you're making your structure more sound. You're making your beliefs more solid, right? You're making your lifestyle more solid, more healthy, right? So things will never break again, okay? So that's the vibe. Moving on, we are moving on to the challenges, obstacles, stumbling blocks here. Overarching energy is the four of pence. Advice, sorry, advice is the queen of pence. And the healing light here. So in terms of, um, in terms of challenges here, um, I do feel like a challenge for you guys is um, misplaced priorities, okay, um, and getting distracted. But moving for the Four of Pentacles, so the, the biggest challenge in October is going to be letting go, okay? So everything that I talked about with the tower, it's like, yeah, that's easier said than done, right? Um, it's not easy to restructure. It's not easy to rebuild. That's not something that's easy. It doesn't come naturally. Sometimes it is a struggle. Um, but with the Four of Pentacles, the obstacle is letting go if you do not let go nothing will ever change you will be stuck in a cycle you will be stuck in confusion and frustration change is inevitable right it's like change or die essentially with the four of pentacles reversed here so change may be a struggle for you letting go may be a struggle for you even letting go of physical items um may be a struggle for you if you want to change the energy, you have to let something go energetically so that new energy can come in, okay? We have the Queen of Pentacles for your advice. Your advice is misplaced priorities uh, and you're distracted. So um, Spirit is saying that, um, I'm hearing a message. Uh, yeah, okay. So some of you guys, whatever is holding, whatever it is that you can't let go of is distracting you and overtaking your priorities, okay? Um, it could be causing delays, or you just can't focus on your work, you can't focus on your long-term goals. Something is distracting you from that. And you need to let that go with the Four of Pentacles here, okay? That's why the tower is here, because it's like, okay, 
that's not helping them. So we need to rebuild this. We need we need we need a different idea. We need a different approach. We do need a different method. Um, we need a different system. Okay. The, a Queen of Pentacles could be very stubborn when she's reversed. So stubbornness could also be a challenge uh, this month for you guys. Um, also, another challenge could be focusing on material gain is only going to cause more lack. So if you guys are really focusing on money, 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 and attaining money, you're not going to get anywhere. You're just going to be spinning your wheels. The pentacles are reversed, which means money, there's, there's, mon there's an issue with money, right? There's an issue with gaining money. Um, so the more that you strive for it, the less that you'll get. It's just going to create more lack, okay? Again, the priority is not about money, 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 right? The priority is about rebuilding sound structures in your life, sound beliefs in your life, right? It's like spirits like that's not the point. The point is, right? It's like you guys are looking this way when you should be looking that way. It's like you're distracted from stuff. So you're going to find the universe really like force you into a certain direction or the universe is going to gently nudge you in a certain direction. It just depends on if you're open to it. Some people learn hard, have to learn lessons harder than others. Some people get the lesson immediately. It just depends. We have the healing light and the reverse. So this is uh, this spiritual energy here. This is about something not being healed. Um, so I do feel like there is maybe some wounds that may pop up in October here that you thought you healed, but they come back to light. Again, it's about being very thorough, right? So if something returns, it's because we didn't kill it off, right? We were not thorough in killing it off. We were not thorough in healing it. Maybe parts of it got healed, but then the other parts of it festered. So something festered, something festered, and you need to cut it off, right? You need to cut it off because it's not keeping, it's not, it's not keeping you productive. It's keeping you stuck. It's keeping you distracted. It's keeping, it's not doing anything for you, okay? So I do see you guys targeting that and figuring out what that is. Okay, so moving on, we have opportunities for growth. overarching energies the high priestess reverse and then with the two of cups as advice so the the uh the opportunity for growth is the high priestess and the reverse very interesting energy here um just give me a minute so the opportunity for growth here um personal spiritual development and breakthrough is some of you in October may be learning what happened when you don't listen to your intuition. Some of you may see, ah, this is why I need to always listen to my intuition. So the opportunity for growth is to finally listen, okay? There is something about, some, you've been ignoring some gut feeling, some calling, something. Um, and now you have an opportunity to finally listen, okay? Um, that's the overarching energy I get with this High Priestess in the Reverse. The High Priestess in the Reverse is also about things being revealed that were hidden, that you didn't know about, that was shrouded in darkness, that was simply um, ignored, or your guides didn't want you to know about it yet. So I see your guides bringing out certain things. Um, this could be spiritually, emotionally, any aspect of your life with the High it doesn't matter. Um, I do see your guides finally showing you things and you have the opportunity to listen to it or to ignore it, okay? Your advice is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is about integration. Integration, okay? So I do feel like whatever it is that is revealed to you here, you have the, you have the choice to decide if this is something you want to integrate or not, okay? Into your life uh, with the masculine and feminine energy here. Um, so this is, yeah, so this is, yeah, give you a chance to listen to your intuition here. It's also a chance for you to ask more questions, okay? The more questions you ask, the better clarity you'll find. The less questions you'll ask, obviously the less clarity, the more confused you're going to be here. So an opportunity for you to listen to your intuition, opportunity for your intuition to show you the way or show you why it's right or show you why um, it's a good thing you didn't do that or show you why you should have listened to me. 
people with the teacher in the reverse, nothing else is going to teach you. Nobody else can possibly teach you anything in October besides yourself uh, with the High Priestess. High Priestess is about self and it's about spiritual self. Um, I don't think anybody's teachings is going to help you in October. Um, I think um, if you fall into the wrong hands or if you listen to the wrong people, you're going to find yourself taking steps backwards rather than forward. So being careful and mindful of who you're learning from this month, okay? Because some people have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Um, Spirit also said, don't believe in other people's results because they're not your results. So opportunity for growth is seeing that just because somebody else, just because this worked for somebody else does not mean it'll work for you. Also, does it mean that just because it worked and this way for somebody means it's going to work that way for you. You may need a different approach. You may need a different tool. You may need a different program. Or you may need different equipment. Okay? So try not to base success on other people's success, if that makes sense. Um, we have coming together for opportunities of growth here. Um, so this energy is the two of cups. Two, two, two. So coming together is a sense of bonding. Okay? Again, like I said, integration, but it could also be other people. So there could be opportunities for growth when it comes to your relationships. That maybe you can learn something from your relationships this month if you open your eyes. If you are open to it, okay? Maybe um, somebody's going to give you advice that you really shouldn't listen to, okay? Um, but that takes awareness to be able to know, okay, well, this person is full of shit or they don't really know where I'm coming from. Um, I do feel like there is a sense of like somebody gives you good advice and somebody gives you bad advice, right? And you have to decide which one to take. But I do feel like the learning, I, I do feel like personal connections, you're going to learn a lot from your relationships um, this month, okay? Your relationships are going to teach you a lot this month. Moving on to relationships. Homeworking energy is the king of cups. Now, first off, I do see you guys being uh, the advisor. I do see people coming to you for help. I do see you giving a lot of advice to people this month. Um, or you can be getting support back. It just depends. But I do see uh, with personal relationships, there is a sense of, of um, trust um, being built. So I do see, like I said, I do see some wise advice. Somebody's going to give you some really wise advice that you should really take. Like I said, somebody's going to give you advice and then someone's going to give you some shit advice. Um, use your discernment here with the King of Cups. Okay. Um, but I see relationship being pretty stable. I see them being pretty balanced in all aspects here. We have the Five of Wands and Five of Wands to me is about solutions, not problems. So if there's any issues in relationships, I do see you confronting them. Okay, um, I don't see things, I don't see feelings of resentment bubbling to the surface because you're going to combat them, you're going to confront them. And Spirit is saying to confront um, issues and relationships. If there's an issue, confront it before it manifests and turns into resentment and hatred and anger and all that other shit. Okay, you don't need any of that. You can avoid huge misunderstandings with communication, with siblings saying, hey, we need to talk or let's have a conversation about it or, you know, I don't really appreciate when you did that. Be very direct in your relationships or other, otherwise they will, they will start bubbling. You see how it's bubbling here, right? Things will bubble and plunk. you don't need that energy here. Okay. You don't need any of that. For some of you, you're going to be giving advice because, um, your personal connections are maybe going through some stuff and maybe shit's hitting the fan for, for them and you know you're gonna help them learn to confront their fears or you're gonna help them see something that they didn't know they needed to see okay that could be you or them or both we're moving on to career and finances here overarching energy three of cups so these are my new career cards right here. Okay, so the three of cups, we have the three of cups for overarching energy. Energy with the three of cups is, it's, it's a community, okay? So a lot of community and career. Three of cups is also people getting along. Um, the three of cups is like, it's, it, it's a group. So there may be a lot of group work um, in your career. Uh, there could just be a lot of group projects, teamwork, um, needing to work with others. 
uh, others depending on you, you depending on other people. I heard correspondence, so a lot of correspondence back and forth. There could be social activity, social events, stuff like that, okay? Um, three Cups is a good energy. Um, it could be like a celebration. It could be good news when it comes to career um, and stuff like that. Now, in terms of the advice with the Ace of um, Cups in the reverse here, um, if some of you, if, if you guys are struggling when it comes to your career, um, this could be you're probably maybe struggling to find motivation. Uh, but Ace, of, this is an energy of frustration, obstacles, and feeling empty when it comes to work. Not really feeling passion. Not really feeling joy. You just feel empty. Okay. Um, some of you maybe feel empty with your uh, work situation because maybe you don't get along with everybody or maybe you just feel like an outcast or something like that. Maybe you feel like you don't belong. Um, so if you guys are struggling when it comes to like, you know, how you feel about your career or where you're headed with the Ace of Cups here, um, this is really about, it's good that you know what's disappointing you. And it's good that you know you're not passionate about this or it's good that you know this makes you feel dead inside so that you can move forward here okay those of you who are seeking for work i do see that um there have been kind of off and on um things have been uh, like a rocky roller coaster um you get attention but then you don't get the job there's disappointment here okay uh, the advice for the ace of cups is to fill up your cup um, and to weather the storm and find motivation when possible. Um, because it's not going to stay this way. You just may be in this energy in October here. Now we have the It's Not You card. This card is, says self-care, mental health, and refocused. It says don't let work setbacks affect your self-worth. Avoid, avoid taking rejection personally. You're not the problem here. So your advice is to not internalize issues that crop up at work. This is you internalizing, oh my god, I'm terrible, I can't do my job, I suck, nobody cares about me, I'm not needed, I'm not wanted, I'm incompetent. Yes, it has nothing to do with you, okay? So it's important that you realize it's not you, okay? It could just be the energy, it could just be October, it could just be issues that are happening at work or whatever, but avoid taking rejection personally. If you're job seeking and you don't get the job, don't take it personally, okay? Call reject cycle job hunt going in circles and false hope okay you're stuck in an interview rejection loop which is irritating but there's a breakthrough afoot so this is simply about if you are looking for work and you're going on these interviews and you're not getting um you know you're not getting the job they call you again you go on these interviews but then you get rejected again it's a loop it's a cycle okay you feel like you're you have false hope but the thing with this cycle is that there's still momentum so it's only a matter of time before you stumble upon the right option for you okay and as you're going through this cycle it's not you now some of you if you are working and you're not looking for work you may feel that maybe something you're doing rejects you okay maybe you're putting yourself out there but you're not getting anything and so you feel like you're rejected and you so you you um internalize that and you're like i'm the issue i'm the problem that is not the case Okay, if you could read here, it says, I am qualified, I am worthy. I'm sure you guys can see that here. But I am qualified, I am worthy here. So stop taking everything out on yourself when it comes to your career, okay? If things are not the way you want it in your career, it, it doesn't have anything to do with you. You need to refocus, okay? We have uh, the rose, financial relief, being content and loving care. So the rose to me comes as financial support. It comes as uh, uh, financial help. Um, it can, it's an energy of like a miracle. So money-wise, uh, regardless of what's happening, I do feel like there is support um, when it comes to money. If you're worried about your bills or struggling to pay this or struggling to pay that, you will have the support, okay? You have job security and growing here. So I do feel with the, you know, um, money-wise, your money is growing, even though it may feel like it's not growing, there is momentum here. Um, job security, if that is something you guys are wanting, um, you may secure that in October, but if you don't secure that in October, like I said, I see you going in the direction of, of um, something eventually coming to pass, okay? So if you're not, if you haven't found work yet, it's not that, it's you're not the issue. That's not the right thing for you, okay? 
last but not least is self care and health chariot overworking energy seven of wands okay okay so for self uh, care um, mental emotional physical all that shit the biggest message I have is to curve back on impulsive behavior okay the chariot is about gaining control the chariot is about um, holding the reins okay so there has some there has been there's an energy in your life that has been going bonkers and haywire it could be your spending it could be your eating it could be smoking okay it could be negative thoughts something has gone haywire okay um it's something that is allowing you to procrastinate it's something that is allowing you to um, lose power you need to get control of this here with the chariot energy here so yeah there needs to be um you gaining control over some type of bad habit or habitual habit that's not good for you okay that's why you have the black and white right so it's good bad um there's a habit that you should continue to do because you see that it's working for you and it's helping you move forward and then there's a habit you're kind of like yeah i probably should stop that but i kind of don't want to or i kind of know i need to let that go but i haven't yet the seven of wands as a advice here is um energy of the underdog um it's yeah it's almost like something you think you need but you don't need it so you're there's something you're relying on. You don't need it, though. The Seven of Wands is also an energy of settling. Yeah, Spirit said, don't be afraid to... Um, Spirit said, you don't always have to move forward. Um, yeah, so they're saying... Know the difference between when to move forward and when to settle. Sometimes settling is not necessarily a bad thing, okay? When it comes to self-care, it's more about settling on like a routine, settling on like a habit, settling on uh, a, a specific course, um, um, a specific schedule, um, and then moving forward with that. Some of you may have issues with schedule or keeping schedules or being consistent with stuff, okay? So um, do focus on that. That's going to help, uh, you know, your health, your physical, your mental, all that stuff here. Um, so something has been uh, plaguing one of those and we have what do you need to release which is obvious right again some habit that is not helping you um, it's not doing you any justice whatsoever what do you need to release so there's something you need to release that is a form of self-care once you release this thing this is about um, practicing that self-care that self-love the self-mercy self-compassion all that shit so there is something that needs to be released it can even be it can even simply be like a self-care routine that's not it's not for you it's not doing a goddamn thing and you know it's not doing a goddamn thing you know there needs to be an update or a change or you just know you need to get rid of it um it could just be something as simple as that it have to be anything too super deep but yeah there is something that you need to release so something better can take its place or that you can simply move forward and be more productive in okay so those are, those are the messages. I really hope that this gave you clarity. Hopefully you liked the format. I felt like this format was a little bit more in depth um, for October. So yeah, I wish you the best in October. And I'll see you guys next time.